Okay, whenever you're ready. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. This is Jeff of Tau Flutter Mouse. Today, we're going to show you the 15 crappiest shotgun loads that we have tested. The first one is decomposed gravel. How will that hold up? Okay, whenever you're ready. Ooh, are you excited? <laughs> it took off part of the tire. The biggest problem is it's just too light. When we shot it, it spread too far, and we just couldn't hit anything with it. Next up, we got a whole bunch of wooden ear swabs. Those look like they'd fly pretty well, like a dart or something like that. Let's see how they work. Okay, whenever you're ready. <laughs> when shot, these things scattered like a bunch of cockroaches, had no accuracy at all. Next up, we got a giant ice bullet. The idea is that if you shot somebody with it, there'd be no evidence left. All right, go. Surprisingly, most of the bullets stayed intact, but it curved upwards and was just a very inaccurate round. Now the carrot, definitely a stupid looking round. Let's see how it holds up out of a shotgun. <laughs> it worked. Sometimes the ideas that you think will never work kind of work, and surprisingly, Matt was able to hit that watermelon. Next up, we got the Sonic screwdrivers. These things are Craftsman screwdrivers, and they fit right into a shell. Oh, man! <laughs> the screwdriver wanted to tumble around in the air, and it was just pure luck that he was able to hit anything with this thing. If this proves anything, it proves how strong these screwdrivers really are. Quite a few viewers wanted to see how well tablets, pills, vitamins, whatever, would work coming out of a shotgun. You hit it. I doubt you'd be able to hit anything more than 10 yards away with these things. Jacob got close enough to hit the jug though. We loaded a really cheap plastic dart into a shell, but because it's plastic one piece and flexible it should be able to survive the blast of the shotgun <laughs> I can't believe I at the speeds it was traveling it really didn't fly as straight as an arrow as we thought it would a lot of viewers wanted to see what chocolate would look like so we loaded up a, a little chocolate Easter egg let's see how that works all right Hit it! <laughs> it was pretty quiet. The little egg, it flew nice and straight, but it was just too light to build enough pressure to ignite the main powder charge in the shotgun shell. Now what about spaghetti? We stacked a whole bunch of spaghetti in a shell. Will it have enough strength to handle the intense blast of a shotgun? You don't have to be psychic to know what John's thinking. He's thinking, what the heck am I doing here? Needless to say, spaghetti is terrible ammunition. Now what happens if you put a non-Newtonian fluid in a shotgun shell like cornstarch and water? A lot of viewers wanted us to try it, so let's see. Safety off. Yeah, big cloud of white. Sometimes you don't know what's going to happen until you actually try it. Quite a few viewers wanted us to shoot a pocket knife out of a shotgun. Just because it fits doesn't mean it's going to be a good round. Let's see how it works. Just the shotgun blast alone really damaged the knife, broke all the red plastic off of it, leaving just the metal behind. Made some neat little sparks there though. GGPs are a very tough little gelatin candy that'll pull your fillings out if you, if you aren't careful. Ha 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 ha!
but they make for a lousy round. One GGB did hit the head and the jawline on, on the side of the face, but that's about it. Tons of viewers asked us to shoot nerf darts. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's still a, pretty impressive. The most impressive thing was he actually was able to hit that piece of fruit with that crappy Nerf dart. The X-Acto knife blades, and there's 12 of them in there, are a good example of perception versus reality. Now one might think that shooting 12 X-Acto blades would be like the ultimate scary most damaging round possible. <laughs> the reality is, you'd probably do more damage just throwing them at somebody. My friend Artisan Tony made some 3D printed bullets for us to shoot. Go for it, Red Rocket. Hey, it fits. Okay, anytime you're ready. Wow. At the time of this video, no one had ever made a 3D printed bullet before. The round really wasn't very accurate. And really there's much better things that you don't have to 3D print like rocks maybe that you found on the ground that would work better than that 3D printed bullet. It didn't work terribly bad, and you're probably wondering why this is number one as the stupidest round. When Tony and I were planning out this video, we knew that the 3D printed guns were a very hot topic and a lot of people were hysterical about them. So we basically trolled the news media by creating this 3D printed bullet, and they fell for it like suckers. The 3D printed bullet video was more than just an ammunition test. It gave us a first hand look of how the news media takes a pretty weak story and turns into something that is meant to cause hysteria with their readership. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this collection of lousy shotgun rounds. Thanks for watching.